This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Four games into your return now. I'm just curious, you know, how would you assess where your game is at right now? You know, how close are you to where you want to be? Um, I don't know. Uh, I feel like I've been getting in the groove of things, you know, just starting with practice and, you know, practicing hard each and every day, just working on my game. And um, Coach Musk has allowed me to, you know, um, play my full game and trying to get back to, you know, where I was before, you know, um, all that stuff happened. But I feel like um, I still got some ways to go. Uh, obviously, uh, me seeing me on the court, you know, just watching film, I'm not as explosive, you know, as of right now. But uh, once once the season, you know, keep continue to go, and I feel like I get that back. And obviously, it's a, a little bit of a homecoming for you this weekend. Just, you know, what's the the excitement and anticipation level for you to get down to North Little Rock and play? I, I assume you got a bunch of friends and family that are going to come out. Uh, you know, it's just going to be a fun experience. It's like every game. But um, I'm treated as a regular game because, you know, from the history of Arkansas basketball, they haven't played very well in Little Rock. So uh, my mind said that game is just going and try to dominate um, and, you know, what I'm saying trying to get the win. Hutch? Yeah, Nick, we saw you miss the last five minutes or so of the Oklahoma game. Could you give us kind of a, an update on, on what happened there and how you're feeling physically? Uh, yeah, it was it was something that was going on, uh, a little, little, little something that was going on between, you know, uh, what was going on in my body. And uh, I just went back, just tested some stuff out, and uh, everything was fine. And then uh, have you ever played in this Simmons Bank Arena before, or is this going to be your first time? No, nah, it's gonna be my first time uh, actually like playing playing uh basketball in there. I've been in there plenty of times. I, you know, watched the uh, Arkansas basketball play in there a couple of times. Even when Mike, Coach Mike, was here, uh, it was a it's it's a fun experience. I just can't wait to you know get out there and see what that's all about. Scotty, yeah, Nick, I wanted to ask you about Devo. He's uh recently he's had some possessions defensively where he's made it really tough on ball handlers to even dribble out on the perimeter. I'm just curious what you see from him when he's engaged like that uh, and just what it does for the team. Yeah, Debo is one of the best defenders in the country. Um, he gets us going each and every day in practice. You know, he's, he's a good leader for us. You know, he's a, one of our older guys and been through the system before. And, you know, um, every day you're going to see what, what Debo is all about. You know, he's good defensively. Um, yeah, man, he just – he just he's just a good piece for us and uh I feel like he gets everybody going. He definitely gets me going to see how hard he goes on the defensive end is uh a lot of mo motivation on our end. And secondly, just what's impressed you about Makai's play lately and just what do you when he's playing well, what do you what do you see him um doing when he's effective? Uh Kai Kai is one of the one of the uh one of our big pieces on our team, you know. Um if uh if Kai if Kai's not very not playing very good, I feel like we're we're not gonna have a good game at all. Um, you know, obviously he he brings energy to the game, you know, he brings that he brings that, you know, um, you know, that emotion to 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 our team and you know, that's something we need. Um and uh he's a good player for sure. I'm just curious what games you went and watched when you were younger, uh, that Arkansas played in North Little Rock, if you remember those. Uh, I remember a game to where um, it's kind of funny because every time, well, I think about it. Every time I went to Little Rock to Little Rock uh, Arkansas game at Little Rock, they they lost. So, you know, that's one of the things I'm not trying to do this weekend for sure. Bob, um, hey, hey, Nick, how you doing? Yeah, so, so were, were you maybe Hofstra, Mercer, the, those ones you remember that those, those are ones they got beat. It. So I like Hofstra last year. Were you at that one? No, I didn't. I, I wasn't. I wasn't at that one. Um, I was in uh, City of Palms with uh, North Blue Rock last year. Um, I was pretty mad I didn't go, but you know, I I I watched it like ten times on YouTube. I seen what happened, and uh, yeah, I mean, self-explanatory. You know, the, the crowds are always really good and, you know, games are not on TV, so it's really the only way people can see a play. But like I say, the, the performances for whatever haven't really matched the crowd. I mean, what, what do you think is the key to you guys? And Bradley's, you know, a pretty solid program. What, what do you think is the key for you guys to make sure you all take care of business there when it's been, it's been historically tough for Arkansas the last 
you know, 20 years, they're just, they're barely over 500 in there. Uh, well, it started on the defensive end. Uh, Bradley, you know, is one of the best, best mid majors in, in, in our country. And I feel like uh, they're going to make a run in the NCAA tournament. Uh, they're a good team. And we just got to play Arkansas basketball and play the right way. Um, it's going to be a hard 40 minute game. You know, the game might be close to game. I mean, we might be trailing. I mean, we, we never know. Um, we just got to go out there and play hard. And it just starts on the defensive end. Is that some of the coaching staffs talked to you about? Because like I said, they lost to Hofstra last year. It wasn't a bad team, but certainly you didn't expect them to beat Arkansas. Is that, is that a big motiv motivating factor for you guys and maybe the whole team to make sure you don't uh, slip up there because it's happened so many other times? Of course. Uh, you know, Coach, Coach Musk has definitely said some about, some, some about that uh, plenty of times. Uh, Coach Musk don't like to lose. Um, that's just who he is. And Obviously, we're not going. We're not going in there hoping for. You know, we just we just want to play Arkansas basketball Saturday and just you know wherever we at uh, Oklahoma, Little Rock, Jacksonville, uh, the Bahamas. We are going to try to play Arkansas basketball and try to dominate and get a win. And I don't know. I don't want to put pressure on you. I'm sure you have plenty of it already. But you've averaged. Uh, you scored over twenty the last two games. Is that something we can we can expect from you on a, on a pretty regular basis? You think? think even at this level uh i just try to play my game and try to you know play at a high level and uh help my team win each and every night um you know obviously it starts it starts in practice about just by going hard and being a leader and being a uh, most most uh most uh energetic player in practice and um you know i just try to help my team win uh every time we step on the floor i don't know if you needed any confidence you know, regain it after missing those six games. But um, how good have these last two games been for you, kind of getting back to being yourself, I guess, on the court? Uh, it's been really good for me. And uh, just to see, you know, how, uh, you know, the first thing that goes as a basketball, as an athlete, period, if you take some time off your legs and, you know, I'm trying to get my legs back under me. And, uh, you know, I'm, I mean, it's been, it's been very exciting just to get out there and just play in front of my, you know, my home crowd and, my family get to see me play, and uh, it's been a it's been a fun experience. But you know, at the same time, that comes with responsibility of you know trying to be consistent of what I do and uh, just trying to get better. And you seem like you're really emotional out there. Has that always been part of your game, or is that maybe even ramped up because you missed six games? Or kind of how how would you talk? What would you say about your demeanor on the court, and maybe how emotional you get? And you, you seem to really get 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 excited out there. Uh, I'm just very competitive. Uh, you know, the, uh, I feel like we got one of the best, one of the best fan bases uh, in the country, and uh, you know, they get they get the team going, and obviously they get me going. Uh, you know, I always been an emotional player. I always, you know, uh, love the game of basketball, and you know, um, it's been, it's it's fun for me, and uh, especially if we win, it's it's very fun. It's not very fun when you're losing, but you know, um, once once the crowd get going, you know, the team get pumped up. You know, I get pumped up. You know, Coach Musk get pumped up, and you know what I'm saying? We just try to go out there and have fun. Let's go one more. Um, obviously, you you and Anthony and, and Jordan all came in. You know, McDonald's All-Americans, very highly touted. You all seem to be playing pretty well at this point. Kind of what would you say about how you guys are playing as a trio? And, and you know, obviously, you, you came in with a lot of expectations. Right now, you seem to be doing a pretty good job of living up to them. Oh, uh, well, that's just – Trusting in the system and trusting what Coach Bus uh, has been talking about ever since we got here. Um, it started in the summer. Um, we wasn't always, um, you know, we all, once we got here, we was wasn't familiar with the system. You know, we had to basically start from scratch, and uh, I feel like it helped us a lot. You know, our games has grown. You know, our bodies grown. You know, our mentality of the game has grown since we got here, and uh, you know, hopefully, we can just continue to do that and to continue to get better in. I feel like we'll be fine. Football is back, and Bet Online remains your number one source for all your football betting needs this season. You'll find the latest odds, matchup info, player news, and game trends. And as your continued source for all sports wagering info, Bet Online features live betting, free contests, live scores, and giveaways all season long. Always the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports and events like MLB. MMA, tennis, boxing, and even golf. Head to betonline.ag to join and receive your 100% welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure to use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. That's B-L-E-A-V. BetOnline, where the game starts.